But first, it almost felt like a spring day today, right? And that helps scientists trying to clear the waterways of invasive species before lakes and rivers freeze over. Since 2010, more than $60 million of EPA funding has gone toward preventing and controlling invasive species. It's all part of the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. Ohio's received close to $8 million and more was just announced last month. Olivia Fecto now with a closer look at why there's a race to get these species out of the lake in this News 5 original. They come in in many different directions, different vectors, different pathways. If you cruise down the Rocky River or the Black River in Northeast Ohio. Invasive plants and animals are a huge ecological issue. You will find them, invasive species. We're really focusing on those reproducing populations. Fish like the common carp, grass carp, round goby, even goldfish, all four are considered harmful to native species. Yeah, you can go in on that side. To fight it, you'll find crews from the Ohio Division of Wildlife. Push it towards the center of the boat. And Cleveland Metro Parks. That's pretty good. Throwing right? current into the current. It's like a, a taser. To shock fish, temporarily, through a process called electrofishing. We're stunning the fish, they float up, we net them. Which is necessary, according to Cleveland Metro Parks aquatic biologist Mike Durkalek. You may measure them and weigh them if you're doing a fish survey. To remove them if they're not native. The reason for all of this, get rid of the invasive ones, eating food the native populations need to survive. While sampling for invasive species here on the Black River in Lorraine, this crew caught a freshwater drum. It's a native fish, so they'll throw it back in the water, but grass carp head back to the lab. The overall goal, or objective would be to eradicate grass carp from Lake Erie. Which is what these groups are after. In Ohio, you're allowed to have um, grass carp as long as they're sterile. Problem is, many of them aren't. They make their way from ponds to streams to rivers, often through flooding. We'll set it right here. So this right here. grass carp strike team, as ODNR calls them, is trying to find out what rivers in the state have reproducing populations of grass carp. Our concern is that if they have expand their population, They'll impact the habitat for native species and also a food source for waterfowl. These fish don't die from electrofishing. Scientists throw back the fish they don't need. But grass carp have to be killed to test whether they're fertile or sterile. So how big is the problem? Consider what a pet goldfish can become outside of the aquarium. A goldfish in a small bowl could live its whole life and not grow very big. When they are left free to roam our rivers. You take that same fish and put it in an environment with unlimited space and a lot of resources like Lake Erie or the Rocky River. It can grow to roughly the size of a basketball. For these agencies, removing invasive species is a priority. The best prescription there is keeping them out in the first place. They're already here and established. Electrofishing is one tool we can use to help keep their populations in check. All to make sure they don't crowd out Ohio's native fish. Olivia Fecto, News 5.